Oh, there's... <gasps> can, oh, we can collect insects. Oh, we can collect all kinds of stuff. This is exciting. Shut up and sit down. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is the Busy Simmer. Today, after we get her needs up, well some of them, we are going to build her a little studio. Yay. So let's get her to sleep, then we'll start building. So in the last episode, we gathered and sold enough items to get 3,126 simoleons. So we're just gonna build her something really basic. <laughs> Alright, so we have bathroom facilities, we have a kitchen, a bed, and a seating area. I don't think, does a roof cost anything? Oh, we didn't even do the outside. So we've got her a tiny itty bitty little studio. We're going to move her plants over. And I think after today we are going to go ahead and let her go to school because, you know, she's got a roof over her head. She can make food. She's got a place to sleep and go to the bathroom and shower. So I, I feel like she'd be feeling pretty safe to go back to school. But today she, she doesn't have enough time. Let her sleep here and then we'll, um, we'll keep going. The good news about this is that we can sell this dumb thing. And she does need some things. So she's hungry, so let's go ahead. Let's try to cook. Oh, I didn't get her a uh, smoke detector. Um, so let's do that quick. Now we're good. <laughs> she's going to make some... It's going to be a tight fit. But she can do it. Hopefully she can sleep in this bed too, because we're out of money. Her performance seems as though distractions are getting in the way of education. Rosalind's responsibilities in the range to earn the irresponsible trait. No. Okay, we do need to send her to school. Okay, she can sit there. Awesome. I want to get her a, like a bookshelf as well that will fit in here so she can get her fun up. But right now, I think we need to do some other stuff first. She doesn't have- oh, we need a trash can. All of the things I didn't think of. Alright, she's got $400, so let's go ahead and get her a trash can and see if we can't get her also a bookshelf. So let's read crisis barn. Eventually we'll need to get her a dumpster as well. And then I wanted to see how much a laptop would be so she can start writing. Thousand dollars. That's 800 so we might as well get the laptop because it's only 200 more but we don't have the money at the moment. Let's just keep reading. We will, she'll need to do her homework as well since she's going to school tomorrow. And then when she's done with homework we will, oh no, an adult. Danger. Nobody's allowed in. Go away. See what her grade is. I've never had a kid get lower than an A before. Um, high school D student. All right. I feel like I should add some windows as well, but we don't have the money really right now. Okay, so let's sell all this stuff. We don't want her to have the irresponsible trait. No, weirdo. If she gets up in time before school, we will go ahead and read a little bit more. We don't want our bills to be super crazy, so let's do auto lights. All right, she's up. It's love day. Let's go ahead and 
have some more mac and cheese. It's Friday, so she can go to school. So she can read for an hour and then go to school. Decorating for the love dance, uh, love day dance. When the teacher asked for volunteers to help set up for the love day dance, Rosalind was quick to raise her hand. Not only would she get out of class for a few hours, but she's given she'd be given a, a unique opportunity. Decorate for the best dance ever or prank the love day dance. Let's prank it and see what happens. Why decorate for a love day dance when you could sabotage it instead? That was a thought anyway. Rosalind probably should have just decorated like she said she would. Not only were the pranks disappointing rather than funny, but when the teacher bit into a cookie covered in ketchup, they knew exactly who to blame. Rosalind spent the rest of the day sitting in the hall while everyone else had fun. Oh well, you know, life sucks. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Rosalind. Maybe she can water with tears. I feel like we should get her a journal as well. One sure hopes Rosalind weekend plans includes focusing on schoolwork. Receiving such low grades could affect her future. She She's getting them up. When's her birthday? It's a week from today. We can get them up by then. She leveled up her gardening skill. I don't know if writing books would be against the rules of this challenge. Like I said, there are so many rules. I tried to read through all of them. But it was hard to keep track because... And, and they contradict each other. So I'm doing the best I can. Maybe this weekend when she finishes her homework, we can go to Granite Falls. I still haven't done the research on how much it'll cost. So maybe we can do that today. Let's go ahead and eat, read another book, and then do some homework. Let's see how much a journal is. We're almost... we almost have enough to get a laptop. There we go. Let's get her that one. Let's open it and express melancholy thoughts, and then we can read a little bit. Oh! She gets the writing skill by doing that? That's awesome. Apparently I don't play enough aspects of this game to know what's going on. Okay, she's energized, but she still needs fun. So let's continue reading Love and the Time of Sandwiches. All right, she's done with that book, so let's go ahead and just for safe measure use the bathroom and go to sleep. Eventually, um, once we start getting more money, we'll be adding on to the studio here. So she'll need to eat and take a shower when she gets up. I feel like I shouldn't have sold that tent because going to Granite Falls is going to be hard enough <laughs> without being able to stay in a cabin neighborhood brawl day. I feel like she could fight that one kid she met. Johnny. All right, we got a plant to evolve. She's gonna need to do her homework. She doesn't need to do any skills, I guess. I don't know. Can, it, can she finish extra credit? Do makeup homework. Okay. She get her fun up first. Let's see how much it is to take a vacation today. Grandma Falls. $111 per day. Okay, good to know. Let's get a laptop first and then worry about vacationing and getting her aspirations and all that stuff. This is... this is all the colors they... really? I want like pink. Oh wait, there's a pink one. It's really expensive though. We're not gonna... we're not gonna get that. I remember playing Sims 3 on a laptop and then trying to play a little bit of Sims 4 on a laptop when it came out when it first came out and um oh gosh it killed my laptop <laughs> it was so slow everything ran slow okay now let's go ahead do makeup homework and then after that we'll collect some stuff makeup homework complete rosalind has completed her makeup homework for the day rosalind's responsibility fell out of range for the irresponsible trait good good news she's getting hungry we only want to stay i think in granite falls for a day or two so let's save up like 500 dollars before we go there and we need to well <laughs> she's gonna become a young adult soon um before next weekend so let's try to do that today and see what happens she's gonna be jet lagged but that's okay she found some baconite she hasn't gotten any bills yet, so we need to make sure we have enough stored up for that as well since we have stuff on the lot now. It's gonna be... I don't know how much it's gonna be. She's doing pretty good with her collections, I think. We'll have to take a look at them here. It's so nice that everything's so close together. <laughs> she doesn't have to go very far. But then again, she could feel claustrophobic in there, I suppose. Let's just sleep and then we'll worry about hygiene and fun tomorrow. So she's got nine frogs, seven produces for gardening. She's got one mycin's trophy because we're not opening those. Eight metals, three crystals, two fossils because we're not opening those either. We have no 
microscope space prints or aliens or space rocks, but we do have three fish. I thought we had plus three. What does that mean? So we have six fish. Um, and that's it. We're not really gonna play out the collection part of this, but we're just doing it to get money right now. Alright, it's summertime. Let's grab a serving and then play some video games. Let's also care for the garden while she's home still. And then and then I promise we will go to Granite Falls after she pees. <laughs> I think she needs level 3 and something to get an A in school, so we're also working on that with her video gaming and gardening and all that stuff, so that's good. Okay, go garden, and then we're gonna travel. Uh, which means we will have to... Well, you know what, though? I know the rule is to take $10 out of the account every time you travel somewhere, but when you take a vacation, you're, you're paying for staying at the, the campsite. So, I feel like we shouldn't have to take... $10 out of her account for that. Granite Falls, that's the one we want. All right, so let's take a look around. I actually, I've been here once with my Sims, maybe. Oh, there is a bathroom. I don't know why they would say there isn't one. What is this? So what can we do here? There's not really m much to grab yet. Onions. We could get some new plants and stuff. I feel like a noob right now. I don't know where to go or what's happening. What is this? Oh, buy supplies. Explore woods. Do we need to buy supplies though? Let's see what's in there. We're on the wrong side. So we've got beds. A violin. Why would we need a violin? Um, we don't have pets. We don't need that because we're not staying. Getting hooked? Oh, fishing. Grow fruit. Characterized by a distinctive glow, grow fruit is a tasty treat, a great fertilizer, and a superb ingredient. It's really expensive though, so we're not going to buy it. What is this? It brings light, or as the cavemen call it, fire, probably. The light bring your portable, now battery operated. I thought there was going to be like bug spray and stuff in here. I didn't realize it was just going to be a bunch of junk. Okay, we don't need any of that. So take me... Let's explore the woods. Alright, so here we are. Her needs are decent-ish. Okay, so we know where the bathroom is. What are we trying to do here? Where do we want to go? I feel like there should be signs. <laughs> Maybe we can do some fishing. Pardon me, I'm just... This is all pretty new to me still, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Let's go fishing while I continue to look around and figure out why I haven't played this part of my game before. Oh. Oh, okay. There's... Okay, here's a person. Adult. We want to avoid her. But, look at this. Oh, there's... <gasps> can, oh, we can collect insects! Oops. Yeah. Come collect these insects. Oh, we can collect... All kinds of stuff. This is exciting. This is exciting for me. Like, I've had this this game pack forever, and I'm, like, just figuring this stuff out, because I don't play this very often. I'm mostly the kind of person, like I said in a previous episode, I use cheats like crazy, and my goal is to get my sims as many skills as possible maxed. And it doesn't sound fun, especially after playing these challenges, the 100 baby challenge especially. I was saying in my last episode there, um, if I try to go back and just play for myself and use the cheats, it's going to be so boring. Because these challenges have really, pun intended, challenged me. <laughs> To play the game like it was meant. Three stink bugs. Alright. Now explore that cave. I'm not putting you in any danger, I swear. Exploring the brambles. Surrounded by thick thorns. Oh, thicket thorns and danger most assuredly. Rosalind is left with only one decision. Step forward or retreat from adventure. Step forward, girl. You got it. After several minutes of hacking furiously through the bush, a large web is blocking Rosalind's way. One would prefer the web is not pair... One would prefer that that web is not paired with a spider. I feel like if we go through the web, we're gonna get stuck or something. If we go through an alternative route, it's gonna lead us back to the entrance. Let's see what happens when we go through the web. Rosalind marches through 
through the brush in high spirits, swinging arms and singing songs when a shiny object catches the eye. Ah, temptation. I feel like that temptation thing is like foreshadowing. <laughs> Ignore it. It could be treasure. It could be. While she's doing that, I'm going to kind of just look around and see if there's any thing worth gathering. Rosalind has navigated the nigh foiling foliage to discover a sacred cove in the midst of the forest, a cove containing a mysterious sim. Travel. Yes! Oh, awesome. All right. Hermit's house. We got it first try, guys. I didn't even know this was a thing. Um, but I know, like, going through the that tree and, like, the mines and stuff in the other neighborhoods that it you can fail it first time around. So <clears throat> this seems to be the same kind of thing. Oh, here's the hermit guy. Oh, we, we can't talk to him, though, because we're a runaway teen. But he's a hermit, so would he know that? I feel like since I just went on a rant in my last Hunter Baby episode about people telling themselves that they won a challenge when they were cheating, I went on that rant and so I feel like I should probably stick to the rules. I could justify it all I want, but <laughs> we're just going to avoid the hermit. We're going to avoid him. Alright, let's follow Rosalind and see if we can find anything else along the way as she's running. Hematite. Alright, I think she can- yeah, let's go and fish. Oh! There's more bugs! There's more bugs, guys! Collect insects, and then go fishing. Two dragonflies. This is beautiful. Like, this is just... lovely. What are we gonna catch? Some new stuff, I hope. I forgot we were even trying to do this. Catch five fish in Granite Falls. Okay, good. We're on the right track. Uh-oh. Stranger danger! It's the hermit. Uriah Mata? Oh, dude. Sorry, I'm in your fishing grounds. Please don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. So we've caught a red crawdad and a ba bass. <laughs> I almost said bass. Come on, you need three more, Rosalind. Cowplant berry again? That's, uh, I want her to get the fish though. $72. Oh, what is this? Oh, they're bugs. Okay. We can sell those, right? I mean, can we do anything else with them? Okay, she just caught a perch, a yellow perch. Okay, we can't do anything with them except place them in the world, so we'll probably sell them. Let's go ahead and sell these. They're not worth that much anyway. It's too bad you can't, like, in The Sims 3, when you used to catch bugs and stuff and take it to the science lab and earn money that way. That was pretty cool. We need two more, girl. Two more. She's getting hungry. We'll need to go home soon. Another cow plant berry. Stop! Wait, no. Oh, she got a, a shower. <laughs> okay, okay, she got it. We're gonna cut this vacation short. We can cook here. Where were those? She doesn't really need the bathroom yet. And we have a shower tarp. <laughs> yeah, yes. Grill. Tofu dogs. Actually, let's light this first. Light. And then grill. Tofu dogs. And then I suppose she could sleep soon eventually. Maybe. She's leveling up all kinds of skills. She has to go to school, though. How do we cut this? Uh, can I do it on the phone? Travel home. Yeah, let's... Yeah, we just made some tofu dogs. Oh, well. She has to go to school in the morning, so I'm not super worried about it. Okay, we'll take care of her needs and then send her to school in the morning. Hopefully her grades will go up, and then we can end the segment there. She's... Let's go ahead and just sell that. I'm scared that the bills are going to be really high. I mean, I know they're not going to be over, like probably 500 but still okay she needs to eat use the potty and then sleep oh yeah and i didn't sell this energizing decor when slotted into the crystal crown this crystal boosts career performance gain and recharges the fun need oh well we don't have a crown i haven't played with the crown actually yet so maybe when she's a young adult and Oh, look at that! Whirly flower frog. Okay, we can sell our cheaper one now. Uh-oh. 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 Her needs are decent. There are the bills. 155. That's not bad. 
All right, so uh, grades are up. She's now a C student. Rosalind has returned home from school with a project. Completing this project will grant school progress. Additional progress will be awarded if the project is completed quickly. That means, okay, we need to get some stuff done here then. Wonder if she can do extra credit yet. We'll worry about the garden later when she's done with her stuff. You know what? We don't even need to <laughs> start writing books. We, we, we've been making some pretty good money so far. All right, get that homework done, girl. I know, this isn't fun, but I'm done. Yeah, start working carefully. Maybe we can get this, uh, I don't know, it takes a long time. She acquired the logic skill. Let's see how many skills she has. She has cooking, fishing is at five, fitness, gardening, logic, video gaming, and writing. That's pretty good. She's gonna be doing this all night. <laughs> that sucks, but I want her to get it done. It's 11 o'clock, she's over three quarters of the way through. She can do it. Go away, you freaking vampire. You are not welcome here. She's tense because she's not alone. All right, you know what? That was a pretty good, good job, Roslyn. Oh no, we have no food left. Let's make a sack lunch for tomorrow and then we'll have a quick meal of yogurt. I don't know, she's, she's not gonna get enough sleep, but I wanted to put that in her inventory in case she doesn't get enough food to eat tonight.